Kevin Orr just got on the stand within the hour. It's been mainly foundational questions, where he went to school, how he got the job here in Detroit as emergency manager, that he was approached in January, given the job in March. Much of this day three was spent with Ken Buckfire, Ken Buckfire, who was an investment banker hired by the city of Detroit before Kevin Orr, before the takeover early last year, he testified that in March of 2012, the Jones Day Law Firm, for whom Kevin Orr used to work, had discussions with state officials in March of 2012. This would be nine months before Jones Day was hired and that they discussed Chapter 9 bankruptcy. Now, the challengers here in this eligibility phase, retirees, unions, maintain that Chapter 9 was always the plan. There have been no good faith negotiations with retirees. They've ignored the Michigan constitutional protection on pensions being cut. In fact, Ken Buckfire said that that was not not relevant to them. The key to all of this, the governor who gave the okay for Detroit to go into bankruptcy, he will be here Monday afternoon to testify. He was in town today and we asked him about it. How frustrated are you with the pushbacks or you've uh, come in contact with? Well, I wouldn't call it frustrated. I just view it as part of the process. I appreciate it. It's going through a thoughtful trial process and I just await the outcome. Now, remember, the governor gave a three-hour deposition leading up to this three weeks ago, during which he artfully dodged many of the questions, saying he couldn't answer because of attorney-client privilege, or a lot of the decisions were up to Kevin Orr. So what will change when he comes here on Monday? Did you anticipate that? Yeah, this would be something you expect. I mean, bankruptcy is something I did want to see happen. And now that we're here, we just need to thoughtfully go through the process in the appropriate way with the goal to turn around the city of Detroit. That's what this is all about, is ultimately getting Detroit on a great growth path. Now remember, the burden of proof is on the city of Detroit to prove that they are eligible to be in bankruptcy court. That's what will be determined around the middle of November. Kevin Orr just taking the stand within the hour. He's likely to continue his testimony and cross-examination Monday morning. Jeff? Jim also testifying today, Detroit Chief uh, James Craig, and he had some pretty surprising things to say about his new job. He's only been here for just a few weeks. Actually, he's been here almost three months. He started the 1st of July. He said public safety conditions in the city of Detroit, the second most dangerous city, deplorable. We're going to talk with the chief. We'll have him next hour at 6. Okay, Jim, look forward to that. Thank you.